very often what a developer would like to do is perform an action uh, repeatedly over the items in the wrapped set that was returned by the jQuery method. jQuery provides a function for this purpose called the each iterator method. And as you can see from the example here, it accepts a function argument with two parameters. The first one is a zero base index of the element within the set that was returned by the jQuery method. And the second is the element itself. So in this case, we're selecting image tags and we're basically looping through them with this each iterator method. And for each image that it finds, we're going to set rather the image's title to this is a picture and then we'll use the index number. So we have picture one, picture two, and so forth. And then we're getting the ID again with the this uh, scope and the ID property. So for this exercise, which is exercise three, we're going to loop through each grain on this list. So this is a unordered list and that's the return set that will come back from our, our jQuery selector. And then we'll pop up an alert box for each item that it finds in this set and it will just tell us whether this is a, a whole grain or a refined grain. So after you've opened up exercise three, let's scroll down to that unordered list. You'll see it's in a div tag called fruit list and each li tag has a class property and it is that class that's going to tell us whether it's a whole grain or a refined grain. So let's head up to our script block. We've already prepared the script block and the document ready function so you can place your cursor after step one. And as we typically do, we start by calling the jQuery function. Now we know we want to implement the each and that we we'll need to pass to this function which is the argument to the each call, the index and the element. But first we'll need to put our selector in there. So we're going to loop through li tags in this document object model of this page because those are the only, this is rather the only list in the page. So we can use the li as our selector. Now we'll need to pass in the index number and we could pass in the element, but that's an optional argument. So we're not going to pass that in. We are, however, going to indicate what action we'd like to take for each li tag found in the document. And that's going to be an alert pop-up. So we'll use our jQuery method to grab this being the element that we're currently looping through. In other words, the li tag that the each is currently iterating through. And we'll go ahead and set text. And we're going to concatenate that with a space bar and is a concatenated with the class name because the class name is what's going to tell us whether this is a whole grain or a refined grain. So once again, this being the li element that we're currently looping through and we want its class name property and we'll just concatenate that with a period to end the sentence. So you should be able to save this and test it in your browser which would result in the pop-up box with the first item on the list being displayed and that's a whole grain and as long as I OK this the second box will continue to show up behind it in the order in which these items are listed here. So You can see it's actually looped through each one of these. So in this exercise you learned how we can loop through a wrapped set that's returned by jQuery in order to perform a repetitive action on it.